let's go through the final uh, lecture here on uh, the data link layer, and we're going to talk about the data link frame. Now, remember in previous lectures, the frame is the protocol data unit of the layer two in the OSI model. Um, it encapsulates data that comes from the layer three or the IP layer. Uh, you've got one part of it that, you know, we said the, the data link layer is split into two. You've got a logical layer, which determines is it IPv4 or IPv6. And then you've got the uh, lower layer, the MAC layer, which then says, how do I get the different uh, technologies uh, that I could be transmitting data on and encapsulate that information onto into that frame. Now, the, the frame itself, the structure of the frame itself is made up of a header, the data, and that data is the information that was passed from the IP layer to you, and then the trailer, which is used for error correction, uh, you know, did, they, did the information get to me accurately or not? Um, and the, this is the one place that we make great, put a lot of overhead to make sure that at least one bit of information is gets to uh, each device correctly. I may not care um, if I'm checking, uh, when we get to the upper layers of the OSI model, there will be some layers that is going to worry about the reliability of the entire message to get there. Um, if I'm sending video, I probably could care less because there's so much data, and for me, to the delay in that would be very noticeable if I air check the entire message before it got sent to the screen. Um, but there are some messages where I would send my banking information. I want to make sure it gets there correctly, even though I'd like to see them add in a couple of ones on the left hand of the decimal point. That'd be nice. But uh, so there's some layers that really worry about the total accuracy of the data, and some just says I'm going to pass it on as first and as fast as possible. Now there is the way the frame is set up. I mean, this data came from the layer two, or layer three layer, the IP, the network layer. Um, and it puts a header and a trailer. Uh, the trailer is, like it says, it puts a, a CRC, uh, and all, all the CRC is, is basically a mathematical formula. It's got a mathematical formula that says, hey, I'm going to run the data through this mathematical formula, and it's going to come up with a number. Now, course, I've got to agree that I'm still following the same formula on both ends of the transmission, because if I put the same data in, run the same formula, I should get the same number. So basically what I'm doing is I'm running that algorithm, making sure that the data comes back with the exact same number, and it goes through. And then, of course, it has a frame stops, hey, this frame is over. Now, on the start, on the header part of this, um, you've got a frame start indicating uh, the frame start and stop indicators um, basically are used to identify the beginning and ends of the frame. Uh, there are some timing information in here, a sequence of bits to kind of make sure that, okay, do we have the speed correct in going through that? Now I've got an address part, and this address is the destination and source MAC address. What's the address? What's the address of the device I'm on, the physical address of the network interface I'm leaving on, and what is the physical network address of the interface that I'm going to, the next device, not the end device of the end message, but of the next physical device in the path. Now, the type just indicates the layer three protocol. So is it IPv4, IPv6? And control just says, I'm going to look at some uh, flow control information. You know, what's the quality of service? Uh, you know, some message I don't care. I don't, you know, some are very sensitive. Uh, so they just, oh, how am I going to handle this data? Yeah. So those are some of the things. Now on the um, layer two addresses. Now the layer two addresses, those are MAC addresses. Now, basically, if you're looking at this you've got you've got a layer three so your layer three address is what that's the 
MAC, it's the IP address of the, where you're going. Or actually, it's the host. So it's, I've got my source IP address, which is, you know, 192.168.1.110, and my destination, which is the server, which is 172.16.199. Now, that's my source destination. That's the stuff, that's the logical addressing schemes. Now, the physical says, my source network interface card says, hey, that computer port right there has a physical address. Yeah, pretty like some, like my house has a physical address. I mean, me being in it, I mean, there's been multiple people who lived in my house, so that logical person that exists there changes, but that physical address does not change. So I've got the physical address of that network interface goes here. The destination network interface ends up being what is the address of my next device? The next device in this sequence is my router. So I'm going to put the address of that router. And that's my destination MAC. All, gonna, all it's worried about is this interface. The logical stuff is worried about the entire path. This layer two header is only worried about this next segment along the path. And then it's going to put that MAC address into that layer. Now, there are different types of protocols used in uh, wired networks. Uh, we talked about point-to-point. -point. There is a high-level data link control. There's frame relay. There are uh, ATM, asynchronous transfer protocol, and X.25. All of these are uh, communications between two different types of, based on what network you're, you're going in. Um, so usually most of our stuff here, we don't do in classes here. We never get much into frame relay, ATM, or X.25. Uh, we'll usually do point-to-point -point or high-level data link control uh, as far as uh, this. So it's kind of like, you know, worry about, you know, layer three only worries about which IP address you worry about. Layer two depends on the logical topology and what physical media is being used. So that's why there's other rules and protocols and processes that need to come into play. Um, some of those data link protocols that are going at are Ethernet, wireless, point to point, um, high level data link control or frame link. Now, most of the stuff that we do end up being Ethernet or wireless. Uh, point-to-point -point and HDLC. Um, you're probably going to see questions on it in the test that it, that it exists and what its term is. But as far as using it, uh, <laughs> most of our environment is I've got a wireless, I've got a laptop wireless connection connecting to my uh, wireless access point, which then says, hey, I'm going out to the internet. You know, so I've got a physical connection here and so on and so forth. So uh, it, it's not too difficult. There's, so there's just understanding the framing. And I think that is it. So the biggest thing to consider, just remember that the data link layer, uh, even though a lot of rules and stuff and frames, it's really only worried about what is the next physical device I'm connecting to and by which media am I doing that? And then, of course, based on that media, which rule then you then you'll know which rules to apply. Is it wireless? Then it's 802.11. If it's Ethernet, then it's 802.3. Uh, so it's it's just knowing how is your physical topology set up so that the data link layer knows how to handle data from one segment to the nether. And it's not worried about the overall you know end to end connection. It's worried about getting data from one device, physical device to the next physical device. So I'm hoping this lecture or series of lectures here helps you understand a little bit about the data link layer. And if you don't have questions, give me a call, give me a buzz, give me a text, stop in my office, send me an email any way you can. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.